Hi, my name is Emily and welcome to Secret Pants, where I feature my and for crochet patterns. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this super fun crochet dogwood stocking pattern. Now, some of my favorite features about it is its little um, faux fur, um, r uh, like little ring that you can hang it off of. And then you can, there's also, it's functional so you can stick something into it. Um, I would, you can also um, put lining inside of it so that you like, so it's like extra um, thick. And then there's these little um, bobbles and a little bow that I think just adds a lot of cuteness. Now I wanted to mention real quick before we get started that you can also purchase the um, the large dogwood stocking pattern um, from my website and from my Etsy shop. And then you can make either size. So this is the, I would say that the large is a little bit more of a life size or the regular stocking size. And then this one's just a little bit more of a mini. So in this video, we're going to make the mini, and but you can grab the large in the description box down below, put a link, and then you can also make, and this is about the same size as the small, um, you can also make a little fish stocking for um, if you love cats or have a cat that you love in your life, then it has like a little cute fin and a little black eye, and so you can also grab that in the description box down below, and I'll put a link for it. So let's get started making this dog Super Saver in the color, um, I believe it's a light sage. Um, I'll put a link in the description box down below. But this is a really beautiful green color, and I just love how it works up. So this is Red Heart uh, Super Saver, and this is just a worsted weight yarn. So any worsted weight yarn would really work for this project. So that's the main part that I'm using. And then for the top of the, uh, of the dog one stocking, you're just going to use um, a faux fur yarn. Now this is um, Lion Brand Go For Faux in the color Husky, and um, this is not, this is Lion Brand Go For Faux, it's not Lion Brand Go For Faux Thick and Quick. Thick and Quick is a different one, and that's not what I recommend using. Lion Brand Go For Faux will have one strip, and then faux fur coming off of that. So you'll just need a little bit of this, um, I probably won't even need all of this, but you'll just need a little bit of Lion Brand Go For Faux. Then you're going to need two stitch markers. I just recommend having stitch markers when you're working with faux fur yarn, but you don't have to obviously have it. Um, I just recommend that. Then you'll need a darning needle, scissors, and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So this is the hook that I'll be using. So now what you're going to do is to begin, you're going to make your back panel of your dog one stocking, and then we're going to make the front panel. And then we're going to um, crochet, single crochet around the two to make, uh, to join them together. So let me show you that. I'll set aside all this stuff. And so this is the back panel of the dog one stocking. And then this is the front panel. And then these are the little bubbles. And um, I absolutely love how this looks. And then this is the faux fur. So what you're going to begin by doing is we're going to make the back panel first. And we're going to go down. So we're going to start here. And then we're going to go down. And then later on we're going to go back to where the chains were and we're going to add the faux fur. And so, yeah. So let's just start with the back panel and I will show you what to do. So to begin, you're going to grab your 55 millimeter crochet hook and your um, center pull of your yarn. Now what you're going to do is you're going to chain 20. So make a, mag uh, make a slip knot to begin. And... Then you're going to tighten. Now I'm going to chain 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now you're going to double crochet in the third chain from hook in each stitch across. So you're going to yarn over. The, uh, the loop on your hook does not count as a chain, so the loop on your hook does not count as a chain. You're going to skip the first two chains, then you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain from hook. So right into this, right there. 
So yarn over, insert into the uh, third chain from your hook, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, and that's how you make a double crochet. So now what you're going to do is you're going to double crochet in each stitch across, and then I'll meet you back once you have reached the end of row number one, and you should have 19 stitches. 18 stitches. Okay, so I just finished row number one, and I have 18 uh, double crochets across. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to chain two, and you're going to turn your work. And I want to mention real quick that if you want to get the large dog one stocking pattern, so this is the small dog one stocking pattern that I'm showing you in this video, and then if you want to get the large one, you can go check out my Etsy shop or my website shop and purchase the ad-free PDF for the large. Okay, so now for rows 2 through 12, you're going to double crochet in each stitch across. So chain 2, turn, and then you're just going to double crochet in each stitch across. So I'm just going to let you complete that and then I'll meet you back once you're done with row number 12 and I'll show you what to do next. Okie dokie, so I just finished row number 12 and you can see this is what it is looking like. Now what you're going to do is for row number 13 you're going to chain 2 and turn your work and you're going to begin by... Um, you're going to make a three double crochet increase into the first stitch. So just means three double crochets into the very first stitch. And we're making the kind of the bone part, the bulging bone part. So if I turn it to the back, we're right here. We're starting the going out. Okay, so I just did three double crochets into that first stitch. And the chains for this whole... Um, I think I forgot to mention, but the, um, all the turning chains, I never count as stitches. So just note that. So the uh, turning chains do not count as um, any double crochets or any stitches. So now I just did a three double crochet increase into the first stitch. And now what you're going to do is you're going to single cro or double crochet across. And then you're going to double crochet increase in the last, or double crochet three increase in the last stitch. So just going to double crochet across. Okie dokie. So I just finished, um, basic, almost finished row number 13, and now I just have one, this last double crochet to work into. And so now I'm just going to do my three double crochet increase into it. So I'm going to just do one double crochet like you normally would. And I'm just going to insert into that same stitch and do another double crochet like you normally would. And then I'm just going to do that one more time. So like that. And you should have 20 two stitches at the end of row 13. Okay, so now for row number 14, you're going to uh, chain two and turn your work, and you are going to um, three double crochet increase once again into the first stitch, then you're going to double crochet across, and then you're going to three double crochet increase in the last stitch, and I'll meet you at the end of row number 14. Okay, so now I'm at the end of row number 14, and you should have 26 stitches and now for row numbers 15 and 16 you're just going to chain two and turn your work and then you're going to double crochet in each stitch across so i'm just going to do that for the next two rows and then i'll meet you back at the end of row number 16. okie dokie so as you can see i just finished rows number 15 and 16 and this is what it should be looking like Okay, and so now for row number 17, what you're going to do is you're going to chain two and turn your work, and you're going to double crochet three together in the first three stitches. So to do that, what you do is you yarn over and insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yeah, bring it closer. So the, we chain two and turned. Your chain, of course, does not come as a stitch, so you're going to yarn over and insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and you're going to yarn over and pull through two like you normally would. Now you have two loops on your hook, and normally you would yarn over and pull through all two loops, and you're not going to do that. So instead what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then you're going to do that one more time. So you're going to yarn over and then go into the following stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now you should have four loops on your hook, 
and you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And now what you're going to do is you're going to um, double crochet in the next six stitches. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Okay, so I just did six stitches. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to um, half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then you're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, whoops, three, and four. And then you're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. So you're just gonna half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then you're going to double crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, oops, four, five, and six. And now you're going to do that same double crochet three together. So you're going to insert into the first stitch, you're going to pull through, you're going to pull through two. And then you're just going to do that two more times. So into the next two stitches. And then you're just going to yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. Okay, so now you should have 22 stitches for row number 17. And now what you're going to do is you're going to chain two and turn your work. And for row number 18, you're going to double crochet three together in the first three stitches once again, like you've done before. And then you're going to double crochet in the next four stitches. So we just start off with a double crochet three together. Then you're going to double crochet in the next four stitches. And now what you're going to do is you're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. Then you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. And then you're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then you're going to half, uh, double crochet in the next four stitches. I'm just kind of doing this as I, telling you as I go. So I'm on three and four double crochets. And now you're just going to double crochet three together in the remaining three stitches. And that is the completion. There we go. There you go. And that is what your, now you have completed the back panel of your dog stocking. So what you're gonna do is you're going to um, cut your yarn and tie off. And now we're gonna begin the front panel. So, okay, actually, I'm sorry. I meant to say that you're going to do the faux fur on back panel. Um, so that's what you, the next part. So this is so this is what you can see. We finished this part right here, and then we just tied off. And this is what the whole um, stocking at this point should look like. It's pretty small. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, flip your work to the wrong side and you're going to go to the chain where you began. So where, right where your tail is, right here. And I'm going to grab my new piece of yarn. So this is the faux fur yarn. And I may still use the same 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the first chain. So right here, let me bring it up close. Right here is the first chain, right here. And if you can't tell how many chains, you can just count across, but this is the first chain. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your hook, like I just did, and then you're gonna grab your yarn, and then I just like to yarn over, or, yep, yarn over and pull through. Then you're gonna chain two. And now for row number one, you're gonna, three, you're going to do three double crochet increase into the first stitch, then you're going to double crochet in the next 16 stitches, and then you're going to do a three double crochet increase in the last stitch. So um, you're going to end up with 22 stitches for row number one of the faux fur. Now I recommend that you put a stitch marker in your first and last stitches just because it makes it a whole lot easier. 
And if you don't have a stitch marker, I use like a scrap piece of yarn, just something to mark your first stitch. So that's my first stitch, one, two, three. Now I'm just gonna double crochet across and then I'm gonna double crochet three into the last stitch. And I'll meet you back once I have completed row number one. Okie dokie, so I just finished row number one and um, you should have 22 stitches across. And now for row number two, what you're gonna do is you're going to chain two and turn your work and you're gonna double crochet in each stitch across. Now, once again, I would recommend putting a, a stitch marker here and here just so that you know um, where the first and last stitches are. And so I'm gonna meet you back once uh, you have finished row number two. Okay, okay, so I just finished row number two and I just half double crochet, or double crocheted across, excuse me. Um, so it should be 22 stitches. Now what, for row number three, what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain two and turn your work. And you're gonna double crochet in the first seven stitches. So I mean double crochet in the first seven stitches. One, two, I'm going to put my stitch marker, stitch marker in the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. So double crochet in the first seven stitches. And then what you're going to do, so one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to um, uh, half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. And then you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. So two, three, and four. And my ball of yarn is creeping up on me again. Okay, so single crochet in the next four like we just did. Then. I'm going to half double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. And then I'm going to, um, let's see, I'm going to double crochet in the last seven stitches. So just um, double crochet in the last seven stitches. And one of my best tips for working with faux fur yarn is to just feel as best as you can and use plenty of stitch markers. So if you want to add stitch markers wherever you want, I would definitely do that just because it makes it so much easier. Um, okay, so I just finished row number three and you should have 22 stitches across. Now if I'm going to chain two and turn my work. And for row number four, you're going to double crochet three together in the first three stitches, just like we did um, down here at the bottom, what you're going to do now is you're just going to do the exact same thing. So yarn over insert into the first stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, and then you're going to do that in the next two stitches. So just do that, and then you should have four loops, and you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then you're going to um, double crochet in the next four stitches, two, three, and four. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to um, half double crochet in the next two stitches. Then you're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then you're going to double crochet in the last in the next four stitches. So two, my ball of yarn, there we go three and four. And now you're going to um, double crochet three together in the last three stitches. So one, two, over, oh, I missed that loop. There we go. One, two, and three. And then you're just going to, you should have four loops on your hook and you're going to yarn, pull through all four loops. And this is what your dog bone or your top will look like, hopefully. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to chain 10. So one, we're gonna make the little loop that you're gonna hang, your, um, that you're gonna use to hang your stocking on your mantle or wherever you wanna hang it. So you're gonna chain 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
And then you're going to turn your work. You can turn your work and then chain 10, either way. And then you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch. So into the same right there. You're going to slip stitch. And then you're going to tie off and um, cut your yarn and pull through and there you go. That is what the back um, faux fur part of the panel should look like. Okay, so as you can see, we just finished the back panel. Um, and now for the front panel, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your um, yarn once again, your green yarn. Let me scoot this. Uh, let me put this to the side. And you're going to grab your green yarn. And what you're going to do is you're going to chain 19. And once again, the chains do not count um, as stitches. So the turning chains, I mean. Okay, so I'm going to chain 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And now what you're going to do is you're going to bob, uh, make a bobble stitch in the second chain from hook and then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So what you're going to do to do that is you're going to yarn over and insert into the second chain from hook. So the loop on your hook does not come as a chain. You're going to skip the first chain and go into the second chain. So you're going to yarn over, insert into the second chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then you're going to do that, um, I believe it is four, a uh, total of four times. Okay, so I'm going to do that four times into that one stitch. So you should have five loops. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Then you're going to single crochet into the next chain. Then you're going to just repeat that. So you're going to do a bobble into the next chain. And then you're going to single crochet into the next chain. You're just going to do that in each chain across. And I'll meet you back once you're done with row number one. Okie dokie. So as you can see, this is what the front side looks like and then this is how it is looking on the back side. So what you're going to do now is you're going to chain um, two and you're going to turn your work. And for rows number two through four, you're just going to double crochet in each stitch across and you should have 18 stitches across. So I mean just double crochet into each stitch and I'm going to do that for the next three rows. So rows two, three, and four. And I'll meet you back at the end of row number four. Okay, so this is what it should look like now. And you can see the bobbles are on the first row. And now I just did three rows of double crochets. And now what you're going to do is you're going to um, chain one and turn your work. And you're going to, um, for rows, uh, for row number five, you're just going to do the same thing that we basically did for row number one, which is bobble in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. So chain one, turn, bobble, make a bobble in the first stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. And you're just going to repeat that um, for this whole row. And then once you're done with row number five, for rows six through eight, you're just going to do three rows of double crochets again. So you're going to do a bobble row and then three rows of double crochets. And then I'm going to meet you back once I've finished that and I'll show you what to do next. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I just finished row number eight. And now for row number nine, you're just going to do a bobble in each stitch across. Let me grab my, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this because it is a cream. Okay. So you can see here, let me just bring this next to each other. So hopefully you guys can see it. So this is, we did one bobble row and two bobble rows. Now we're going to do two more bobble rows. So you're going to do a bobble row, then do three rows between, and then you're going to do one more bobble row. And then once you've completed that bobble row, which will be row number um, 13, so you're going to nine, row number nine, make, uh, do, bobble, uh, do a bobble row. Then rows number 10 through 12, you're going to double crochet, um, double crochet in each stitch across, and then you're going to do one last bobble row before we start doing our increases for the um, kind of the dog bone shape part at the bottom. So I'm going to let you do rows 9 with a bobble row, 10, 11, 12 with regular double crochets, and then 
13 with another bobble row and then I'll meet you back at the end of row number 13. Okay, so I just finished, um, let's see, this was row number 13. And as you can see, so we have four bobble rows. There you go, you can see that we have four bobble rows. One, two, three, and four. And now we're gonna kind of start, or very soon we're gonna start kind of um, making the dog bone shape. So, what you're gonna do to begin row number 14 is you're going to chain turn, the chain two and turn. I combine chain two and turn to make turn. And then you're going to double crochet in each stitch across for a total of 18 stitches. And I'll meet you back once I'm done with row number 14. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished row number 14 and it was just the bobble row. Now for row number 15, you're going to, oops, chain two and turn your work. And you're going to um, three double crochet increase into the first stitch. And then you're going to double crochet in each stitch across and then you're going to three double crochet increase into the last stitch. So you're going to start by doing three double crochets into the first stitch. And then you're going to double crochet across and then do three double crochets into the last stitch. And so I'll meet you back once I have finished row number 15. Okie dokie, so I just finished row number 15 and you should have 22 stitches across. And so you did three double crochet increase in the first stitch double crochet across and then you're, you did three double crochet increase into the last stitch. And now for row number 15, you're going to chain, or 16, excuse me. Yeah, row number 16, you're going to chain two and turn once again. And then you're going to do the exact same thing as you did for row number 15. So you're going to um, see, uh, do three double crochets into the first stitch, then double crochet across, and then do three double crochets into the last stitch right there. So I'm going to complete that and then I'll meet you back once I'm done with row number 16. Okie dokie, so I just finished um, row number 16 and you should have 30, or not 30, you should have 26 stitches across and this is what it should be looking like. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work and for row number 17 you're going to bobble, make a bobble in the first stitch and then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So just like we've done before, just uh, make a bobble in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to complete that in each stitch across and then I'll meet you back once I have finished row number 17. Okay, so as you can see, we just finished the bobble row for, um, this is row 17. And now you're going to chain two and turn, and you're going to just double crochet in each stitch across for row number 18. And so you'll have 26 stitches, or you should have 26 stitches, and I'm gonna meet you back once I have finished row number 18. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished row number um, 18, and um, this is what it should be looking like. So now what you're going to do for row number 19 is you're going to um, chain two and turn your work again. Now I like to do chains two, chain two because um, when you do chain threes, then when you come back and try to work into them as you like sew the two panels together, it just is gives you more gaps. So that's why I do chain twos. And plus I just always do chain twos anyway for double crochets, even though I know that's kind of weird, but that's what I do. Okay. Back to the pattern. So you're going to do for row 19, so we just cha chain two and turn, and now you're going to double crochet three together in the first three stitches. So you're going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two. Then you're going to do that two more times. So into the next two stitches. And now you should have four loops on your hook. Let me bring it a little closer four loops on your hook, and then you're just going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Okay, so just double crochet three together in the first stitch. Now you're going to double crochet into the next six stitches. So I'm going to just do that real quick on camera because I'm filming anyway. Three, four, five, and six. And now I'm going to double, or half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next four stitches. So two, oh, two, three, and four. 
Now I'm going to half double crochet into the next two stitches. Then I'm going to double crochet into the next six stitches. Two, three, four, five, and six. And now I'm going to double crochet three together in the last three stitches. So you can see the right there is the last three stitches and you're just going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two, and you're going to do that same thing into the next two stitches. And then you're just going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And as you can see, this is how it is looking. And now for row number 20, you're going to chain two, oh, you should have 22 stitches for row number 19. Now for row number 20, you're going to chain two, turn your work, you're going to double crochet three together in the first three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to double crochet into the next four stitches. So two, three, and a four. And then you're going to half double crochet into the next two stitches. You're going to single crochet into the next four stitches, two, three, four, and then you're going to half double crochet into the next two stitches, again, double crochet into the next four stitches, two, three, and four, and then you're going to double crochet three together in the last three stitches like this, and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And now, as you can see, we have completed the front panel, but what you're going to do is you're not going to tie off, um, you're not going to cut your yarn or tie off, you're going to set this down, and then you're going to grab your back panel, like this, this back panel right here, and you're going to insert your hook, and you're going to um, single crochet along the front and back panel to join the two panels together. So, okay, so to do that, you're going to lay your back panel down like this, and then you're going to put your front panel on top, and you're going to kind of lay it how you would want it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab where your working yarn is, you're going to begin by um, chaining one. Okay, wait. First, let me know that if this, at this point you can decide what side you want your um, your stocking to hang on the mantle. So you can have it hang like this, like I have on this stocking. So you can see there's a thing and it's hanging like this. So it'll hang like this on a mantle. Or you can have it hang from the right side. or So you can have it hang from the left side or the right side. So you can choose what side you want it to hang from. So at this point, you can decide that before you sew the two panels together. So I personally am, um, I like to hang it from the, uh, this side. And so I'm just going to lay these two here. Now let me show you what to do. So you chain one, and now you're going to insert your hook right here. So you're going to, so you can see here's your double crochet three together on the back panel. Here's your double crochet three together on your front panel. What you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the front and then the back panel. Now I, it's nearly impossible for me to show you this. Um, so you're just going to kind of have to work into the stitches. So I, what I did is I did about two single crochets into each chain space or double crochet. And that's how it worked for me and you should have about 40 single crochets and and then I'm going to meet you back once you reach the top of right here the top of the stocking and then I'll show you what to do next so you're just going to insert your hook into the next um, stitch area and then in the front and back panel and unfortunately this is really hard to show so I hope you guys get the idea so you insert your hook here and then I'm going to insert my hook back here. Now, you don't have to do 40 stitches. I just try to make it look as even as possible. And so if you end up with like 50 stitches, that's fine too. Um, but that's what 40 stitches is just what I found worked for 
my thing. Now, when as you go along this um, kind of this curve area, I sometimes have to do a little bit extra stitches here just so that it lays flat and doesn't start to curl a little bit. Okay, I wanted to show you real quick, I come back and show you real quick how I go around the bobbles on the front and yet make it look even. So what I do is I insert my hook right where we worked into and then I go to the back panel and make a single crochet. And then what I do is I go to the bottom where we made our uh, double crochet or our bobble out of right there. And then insert my hook into that and then I go like that. So you don't squish the bobble in the process. It just looks perfectly fine like that. Okay, I'm gonna finish now and I'll meet you back. Okie dokie, so I just reached this kind of corner area where the um, uh, the regular yarn meets the faux fur yarn. So now what I'm gonna show you how to do is I'm gonna show you how to um, just how to go across. So what you do is you find the chain where you worked your bobble into. This is at least what I like to do. And then I like to go into the last, the chain of the um, back of the stocking. And then I'm just going to make a single crochet. And then I'm going to do one more single crochet, but now instead of working into the back panel, I'm just going to work into the front panel only. And I'm going to work in that same stitch. So I'm going to do a single crochet increase into that. So right there. So we worked one stitch into the corner, and then we worked one stitch just in the front panel. And now what you're going to do is you're going to work in the front panel only so you can stick whatever you want into your stocking. So what you do is you just work into the chains and you kind of have to be careful to not skip chains. So you work one right here where there a single crochet and then you work one in um, where there was a bobble and I'm just going to continue to do this across and then I'll meet you back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay so as you can see I'm about to do my last stitch so I'm just going to do one single crochet into that and then you're, I'm going to insert my hook into that last chain and then I'm going to insert my hook into the last chain on the back panel right here and you're going to try as you make a single crochet to not get faux fur into it. Okay, and make a single crochet like that and so now you can see this is our cute little um, opening and now what you're going to do is you're just going to work down this whole side and around and then you're going to meet back right here and then I'll meet you back once you have come to the spot where we begun our joining panels. And it should be about 60 stitches. Okay, so I just came back to where we begun and now I'm just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the joining panels section. And now you have completed your um, dog bone. So congratulations, you're going to cut the yarn. And I'm going to tie off. And then I like to just bring this tail inside my stocking or hide it somehow, however you like to do it. And you can see this is what we have. So I think it turned out super cute. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you how to make, and this is totally optional, but I really think it adds a lot of cute and class to it, um, to the stocking. And it is this little um, bow and little bobbles. So let's sh show you how to make that real quick. So what you're going to do to make, I'm going to set this aside, and you're going to make the bow first. So you're going to grab your green yarn once again. You could even use a different color yarn if you wanted to, but I'm going to use green yarn. And you're going to... Um, you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to chain 55 and then you're just going to tie off. So chain 55 and then tie off and I'll meet you back and show you what to do next. Okay, so you can see this is what it should look like. And now what you're going to do, I like to cut my tails a little bit long, I forgot to mention that, but when you start I would leave your tail a little long and then when you end cut your tail leaving yourself a little bit long. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to look at your stocking and you're going to, so right here is the bobble row and the you're going to insert your hook into the row below the bobble. So, I mean count and make sure it's centered, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to insert your hook behind the three 
um, the three double crochets in the very center. So I don't know if that makes sense, but you're going to count over, you're going to find the middle, you're going to insert your hook under the three stitches in the very center, like that. And then you're going to grab your chain and you're going to um, pull that chain through and then you're going to grab one side so you're going to have it on each side and then I'm not, I'm by no means um, making a bow making expert but you're just going to do a basic bow. So I like to start by making a little knot and you don't want to do it too tight otherwise you'll really pull on your stitches and on the inside and you'll see that. So I don't like to do too tight, I just like to give it a little bit of a tug. And then I grab my finger, or my thumb and I wrap around then hold it and I grab this one and go around just like a shoe tie bow, just very standard. And then that is what it should look like. And now what you're going to do there we go, is you're going to, you can play with it and play with how much you, where you like, how long you like them and whatever you want. And now I'm going to show you real quick how to do like the little bobbles that we attach to these chains. So I'm going to set this aside once again. I'm going to grab my 5mm hook and 5.5mm hook and then my faux fur yarn. And you're going to begin by making a magic circle. Now to make a magic circle, you're going to put the yarn at the base of your finger or your hand, and then you're going to wrap the yarn around going to the front, then come down and wrap the round yarn around going to the back, so you have like an X. You're going to flip it over, grab the back loop, pull through, pull it up. Now you're going to begin by chain, you're going to make a chain one, and then you're going to single crochet five into this bobble. So I'm just going to I'm going to put a stitch marker in here just because I feel like that helps me a lot and so you can do whatever you want. So you're going to single crochet five into this magic circle. So three, four, and five. Now you're going to tighten your magic circle and then you're going to, um, I like to bring the yarn strand inside and I just use that as my stuffing. So this yarn strand I just bring in to so towards me and then I just use that as my stuffing. So then I'm going to make a slip knot or no a slip stitch. Oh I'm struggling with my words today. And then you're going to um, chain one, you're not going to turn and you're going to single crochet increase into each stitch around. So you should have ten stitches at the end of row number two. And you could actually just start working this in the round. I'm just doing is how I have it written down and so but you could do it either way I'm just going to do that and I'll meet you right um, I'll meet you back once I have finished row number two so I just finished um, round it's, it's around <laughs> round number two and then I'm going to slip stitch to join chain one and I'm going to single crochet two together in each stitch around so we're just basically making a little little like mini pom-pom thing so I'm going to do that and you should end up with five stitches because you're going to take your ten and um, single crochet two together in each stitch around and you should have five stitches. And I'm almost done so I'm just going to keep myself on camera. I'm on four and number five. There we go. And now I'm going to slip stitch again to join. And you're going to cut your yarn. Now what I like to do is I like to grab a little bit of stuffing sometimes or if I feel like it's um, or if, if I feel like it's stuffed enough all I do is I just tie a little knot on the inside and then um, put this yarn strand in um, but that's totally optional you can do whatever you want and then I'm just going to have you make one more of these so you can back up the video and make one more of these little bobbles and then I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, so as you can see, I just stuffed these and tied off all the tails and they're just like these little fluffy balls. And now what I'm gonna show you to do, how to do is, so here's my little bow and I'm gonna grab one of the two tails. So I'm gonna grab the one that's longer just because it's easier to show on camera especially. 
and I'm just going to thread it or put it on my darning needle and then I made like a little knot to just to sew it tie it off and so I'm just going to but you can do it if you didn't you can just go do it wherever you want so I'm just going to insert under a little like stitch and then I'm going to bring it up to the chain and I'm going to insert my darning needle into the very first chain and what I like to do is I like to just go back through now you can see we have like a little circle or a green green hole I just like to insert my darning needle through that hole and then tighten and I feel like it makes it really nice and secure and tight and so that is what I do and then I just normally do it one more time just to make a little loop and then go back through it and that makes a knot and then how I like to just sew off my tail is I just like to go through the uh, through the bobble and then I just cut it a little making sure to not obviously not snip the yarn or the crochet work and then there you go there is your like little bobble I think that just adds so much cuteness and um, so now I'm just going to do that for the second side and then I'll meet you back. And there you go. There is your little um, extra added touch and your stocking is complete. I hope you enjoyed making this with me and please for, uh, don't forget to tag me um, in your makes and I'd love to see you. Thank you so much for making this super fun dog bone stocking pattern along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make a new video on Friday and I'd love to see you there. And um, thank you so much again for watching. Thank you so much for watching this um, crochet dog bone. Thank you so much for making this dog bone stocking along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make a new video on Fridays and I'd love to see you there. And don't forget to tag me if you make um, any of my patterns. Just don't forget to tag me because I love to see your creations. And so thank you so much again for watching.